Hello and welcome to State Matters. I'm your host, Matt Miratori. Tourism in Plymouth is our number one industry and number three in the Commonwealth. Tourism, though, has taken a tremendous hit during this pandemic. So today we will discuss tourism and how we will recover. I can't think of anyone better to have this discussion with than the Executive Director for the Massachusetts Office of Travel and Tourism, Keiko Matsuo, Matsudo Oro. Keiko, welcome. Matt, thank you so much. Representative, thank you so much for having me on your uh, show. Well, Director, it's great to have you here, and uh, I do miss you in the House. Um, you were a state representative, and i got to say you were, you were a great mentor to me uh, in the House. I do miss you in the House, but I'm so happy you are the uh, director uh, of MOT. And um, before we get into MOT a little bit, you do have uh, a really interesting background. As I said, you are, you are a state, uh, your former state rep, and you actually live in Plymouth County. You live in Lakeville. Talk about that a little bit. I do. Yeah. Well, as you can see from my background, uh, we are in Cranberry Country, and I have uh, I've been in Lakeville for um, since 1998. My husband is actually five generations Lakeville, and we we love this area. We love Plymouth, and so it's it's a beautiful part of the Commonwealth. And you were a great advocate for the cranberry growers when you were in, and you helped me learn that industry when you were in. So I really appreciate that. Um, now, some of, the, some of the things you do as part of MOT, before we get into MOT, you are um, on the board of Discover New England. Can you talk about that a little bit? What is Discover New England and what, uh, what's their connection to tourism and, and MOT, and particularly in this area of the Commonwealth? Sure. Discover New England is, are the New England states, uh, Vermont, Maine, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts. We all work together and we try to market our region to the international market. So um, it's a real collaborative effort, and I think it's unusual in this day and age to have those strong partners. Yeah. We you're, work you're, together to say, please come to New England. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Now, you also were appointed to the uh, Brand USA Advisory Board. Can you talk a little bit about that? And again, what's the connection with Massachusetts and, and this area? Sure. Um, Brand USA is the nation's destination marketing organization, and I was just appointed by the Secretary of Commerce to that uh, that board. And we also promote the nation to international markets. So we're working with all fifty states and promoting the United States in across the globe. Yeah. Well, as you know, Keiko, um, you know, pandemic hit worldwide. And I can't think of any other industry that got hit uh, the most than, uh, than tourism. And, um, you know, you as the director of the Mass Office of Travel and Tourism, you know, it, it must have been devastating for you and your office. And, but I know you've been working behind the scenes a long time for the recovery part. So talk about during the pandemic what some of the things you were doing and what are we looking forward to um, coming out of the pandemic now? Well, definitely tourism was hit, was hit very hard. The hospitality industry um, is, has, has really just taken a hit. And, um, but what we saw after 9-11 is, is, is that the recovery is there and that tourism is strong. People want to, to get out. They want to explore. And our office is, is poised and ready to, to be a part of that. With the pandemic in August of last year, uh, we launched a campaign to say to our Massachusetts residents to explore their own backyards. So go out, find all the interesting pieces and parts around the Commonwealth. And so our main mission as an agency is normally domestic and international tourism. We market our state and we say, hey, come to Massachusetts because we have a great state. Normally, it's a drive market, it's international markets, um, but because of the pandemic, we, we shifted and we said to Massachusetts residents, and it became more in-state as far as that, that effort. I think that that has really helped, um, uh, it, it's, it's, it's helped our small businesses in that we're, we launched a campaign, and you'll hear a little bit more about it later on, but uh, we launched a campaign to buy, stay, eat local, 
and we have seen partnerships that we wouldn't normally see uh, people working together and and so i think that those are some things that have come out of the pandemic that are going to help to to help the tourism industry recover you know, I, I really love your optimism and, and being so positive. And uh, you remind me a lot of uh, Lee Filson, as you know, our executive director here, C. Plymouth for Plymouth County. And, and, you know, she was part of Katrina down in New Orleans. And so she's been part of recovery before. So it, it's good to have that optimism and that, that positivity um, to say that, you know what, we will recover from this. We've seen it before in other places. And, and Lee says the same thing as you, is that, we're really looking at uh, people from Massachusetts coming to us explore. And, uh, you know, I've said this publicly before. I, I think even though the Plymouth 400, uh, unfortunately, didn't happen in a lot of ways, some things will be happening this summer. Um, but at least it brought, uh, it brought people from around Massachusetts, around the country, around the world, to what Plymouth really has to offer over the, uh, over the last several years. And um, so I'd really love to hear from you now, um, you know, what is the Office of... Uh, of travel and tourism, um, and, and what are some of the things that you just alluded to that, that uh, you're going to help with the recovery and what's going to happen? What we do is we, we talk about the, the great places across, across the Commonwealth, and, and you can see a, a, a slide of Plymouth, Plymouth protects it right there. Uh, we, we have a great state to explore. The, our office, as I mentioned, we're promoting domestic and international travel. These figures are from 2019, but you can see that there is tremendous spending, tremendous number of visitors. And so in 2019, we had 28 million visitors. And uh, we're hoping that in 2021, we, we begin to see um, that coming back. I think by 2022, we're going to continue to see um, the numbers come back, but this is where we were pre-COVID. Our office, our main, main job is to market the state. We do that through visitma.com. And one of the things that people, I think small businesses don't realize is that we're a, an opt-in website. So we're different than a typical mass.gov site. We are mass.gov, but you can opt in and advertise your business if you're associated with travel and tourism by creating a free account. It's very easy, it takes a couple minutes, and then you can control that account, post photos, put your specials, and it's all done by going to visit MA, scrolling to the bottom, want to be featured here, click want to be featured here, and you can create a free account. So. That's, uh, that's our system. We would love to have more businesses, small businesses in the Plymouth area as part of our, as part of our website. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We have a travel guide. We do seasonal marketing promotions. And one of those um, with, with the uh, COVID pandemic, we wanted to especially make sure that we didn't miss the 100th anniversary of the women's right to vote. So we created a historic women trailblazers tour of Massachusetts. We feature over 70 historic women and you can find it on visitma.com. It's again, it's, it's women that you wouldn't necessarily know about Ruby Fu. You wouldn't know about Julia Child. Those, um, those folks, they're, they're also, um, it's short little bio and then something to visit in, in Massachusetts. One of our, campaigns, as I mentioned, is this campaign to get people to understand how important it is, where they're shopping really matters. So it's been very easy to, to order online. We're asking people to go out, to shop, to eat, and to stay at your local establishments because it matters. Your friends and your neighbors, your aunts, your uncles, they all own those small shops. And we're asking people to put their money where their heart is here in Massachusetts. That's our tagline. And, and I have to say, uh, Representative, ha have you seen our campaign? Because I'm going to show some of the creative. Have you seen any of that out in the world? Yes. Yeah. My, my local, I've been seeing I think everywhere. I his head. For, right? Yes. Yes. I've seen great, it everywhere. Great. Because that's what we're hoping. Yeah. Good. Good. Because 
we have great partners. We have the MBTA, we have Logan, we have the Red Sox, we have the Mass Convention Center, and we are really trying to get people to understand that local matters. And it's not an unusual or difficult message to understand. Many communities have the buy local message, but we haven't had it statewide. And we've had real, uh, we've had real success with people buying into the my local MA. Keiko, can I ask you on, on that? Keiko, can I ask you on sure. that one? The my local now. I, I know we in Plymouth, have, the chamber with Amy Naples in charge, has been promoting that for some time now. Why did the state go about actually uh, coming up with this and doing this as well statewide? Uh, again, it was the, it was uh, because of the pandemic and because okay. of the uh, the, we, the administration is understanding the impact on small businesses. Our small businesses were open, but we kept hearing we need customers. Um, people are staying home. They're not. They're not coming out to even support just the, the businesses that were open. So that's how it, how it uh, evolved. And as the marketing arm of the Commonwealth, we were tapped. So typically, like I said, we're, we're the marketers. We try to go out to um, neighboring states and to the international market to, to, talk about, to talk about Massachusetts. And so we changed our messaging to more of an in-state focus. Normally, we work with our regional tourism council partners like Lee at Sea Plymouth, and we there are 16 of them across the state. Each one promotes their own region, and as a state, we're the umbrella. Uh, with the pandemic, we saw partnerships like the MBTA, Logan, Red Sox, uh, and then also chambers of commerce across the Commonwealth just joining in, and so we've created this movement and the next thing I hear people say is, well, how can I be a part of it? What can I do to be part of the My Local MA movement? And I say, listen, you can get involved by going to our lovemylocalma.com site. You can feature your story, share your business story. There's a very short, um, very short questions that you can answer and share your story for a chance to be featured in our newsletter and and uh, in our email blasts, on social media. And when people understand, oh, it's not that, it's not that difficult, it's free, we're, that's where we're seeing people participate. And we hope that we'll continue to see that participation. Keiko, what type so of business? I mentioned the Love what, My Local MA. I'm just going to ask you, Keiko, what type of businesses, of businesses are you seeing yeah, that, are, that are being added to this free site? So we have restaurants, lodging and attractions, shopping, those types of shops, bookstores, all you should put your stuff into into our website. Join, join visitma.com and you can you can have some free advertising. That's a feature of the state. So with with this love my local MA site where we're focusing in on local businesses, we have a toolkit where people can download the logos, they can add them to things, they can print, they can make banners, they can, they can really be a part of the movement. We have ready to use resources for people that do not have the, the software or the, the know-how. And then we have, we have customizable things for people who do have a graphic background where you can, you can really customize it. And so, that again is a is a free resource that we're hoping that people will utilize because the my local MA movement is here. It's it's gonna stay as long as we can keep it you know moving and keep it growing and and I think that it's a really easy easy to understand message. Let's support Massachusetts. So social media post examples. We're, our hashtag is my local MA. I am proud to report that we've had over 10,000 uses on Instagram. We're continuing to grow that. And people are like, well, I don't know what to post. Well, here's some examples. Our economy runs on small businesses. Proud to be part of the hashtag my local MA movement. Local is better. Post a picture of your business. That's why we're proud to source our food from local farms. Those are the types of things that you will find on the toolkit and at that Love My Local MA site. 
here are some examples. So, so if you start to join the movement, you're going to um, reap the benefits of the creative that we are pushing out as far as our digital, our radio, our billboards, and people will begin to recognize the logo, the symbols, the messaging. People want to be a part and support those who understand how, how uh, important our small businesses are. It's kind of like, um, kind of like a, like Small Business Saturday, American Express sponsored Small Business Saturday. They have their logo and you begin to see that logo around. That's what we're trying to do with our, our campaign where we're asking people to display the logo, use the logo with your social, use the hashtag MyLocalMA and we will we'll grow the movement and be stronger together. But Matt, I'm sorry, representative. <laughs> Yes, Director. <laughs> yes, Representative. I um, I wanted to tell you about our Let's Go Out campaign. We yes, just, please. We yes. launched it in May. Yes. So May 27th, we launched uh, another phase of our My Local MA campaign. And it's focused in on restaurants because, as you said, we've had such uh, a devastation within the hospitality industry and especially our restaurant industry. And so... We know that local restaurants are the cornerstones of, of our communities, and we've launched a multi-channel statewide advertising campaign, and we would love for, for folks to check it out at visitma.com. We're hoping that all the restaurants in Plymouth will join in, create a free account, and we're hoping that uh, we can really promote what our restaurants do for our communities. and and. And it's, it's for the smiles, it's for the milestones, it's for the cheers, it's for the celebrations. When people want to, um, you know, to, to do something special, we know that the, uh, the message is, hey, let's go out. So that's, that's the Let's Go Out campaign. Um, and we're excited about that. We also, have a State of Wonder photo contest. I don't think any of your viewers know about the State of Wonder uh, photo contest, but they will now. The State of Wonder photo contest is an amazing way to showcase our state. Again, it was coming out of COVID. We're like, wow, what do we do now? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to showcase the wonderful, amazing State of Wonder that we have. And this photo contest features prize getaways packages from across the state. We have three each month that we are going to be giving away. It's things like two nights in the Berkshires with two tickets to an attraction, two tickets to a, a restaurant, two tickets to, it's a package of, of, of things that people can win. And we are really excited about the photos that we're getting. We're excited about uh, people voting on on their favorite photo and the first drawing is June 15th. Now I realize this show is continuing to run so I want to say we're going to have another drawing July 15th and August 15th so people can really still be a part of this amazing photo contest and we hope you'll check it out. Again, it's visitma.com. Do, do you have the other vacation so package available? Do you, you still have the other vacation package the vacation where they're going to be? Absolutely, but you have to go to visit MA. You ah, have to go to okay. visitma.com okay. and scroll down, click on State of Wonder, and you will see the other prize packages. We have nine amazing packages. It's oh, wow. not, just, not just one prize. It's a package. Wow. Two nights, wow. uh, you know, to an attraction, and then... Um, we have tickets to a restaurant, tickets to breakfast. It's, it's an amazing, amazing opportunity. And those were donated by businesses within our regional tourism, our regional tourism partners, um, mm. worked within their region to get support for this, uh, for this contest. And so we've had wonderful donations from, from our partners and, and, and it's a wonderful way to, to showcase the state coming out, coming out of the, of the pandemic. 
So we, we hope that people will check that out. So the key takeaways, we get to the end, it's like, well, what do you want me to do? Please use my local MA on social media. Talk about your favorite pizza place, your favorite hiking spot, your favorite uh, boutique. Your, talk about those types of things and use the hashtag my local MA because it will signal, hey, that person gets it. That person understands how important our local small businesses are. Use some of our logos from our, uh, from our toolkit and you'll be able to see, you'll be able to see the uh, benefit from using that creative. Hook up with the free advertising on Visit MA. Use that as a state resource, uh, connect in with that and, and join, us, um, join us there. You can share your local business story. It's another great way. People are really, they're interested. They're interested to hear your story. So we're asking people to, to just take a few moments and, uh, and share that. The photo contest is big. The photo contest is huge. And the key takeaway is pandemic. We are not going to let this get us down. We are tourism strong. Let's go out. So I, that's my, those are my takeaways. And I hope that um, folks will, will take them to heart. And I, I'm happy to, happy to go into any more detail on any of the things that we touched upon. Wow, that, that is amazing, Keiko. Thank you for sharing this. And, and, and we're going to really uh, push this show out on social media a lot over the next month so that there's so much information for so many people, not just the business community, but people in general as well that can get access. Um, you, you folks have really been busy during the pandemic. And uh, wow, th this, is, this is amazing. How long do you think this... this um, uh, these campaigns will go for? Do you think it'll just be for through the summer or do you think this will extend on to maybe next year? We are scheduled to continue the My Local MA movement through the end of the year. We're going to focus in and, and help people understand the importance once it gets closer to the, to the, the holidays. And I know it's Seems like it's a long way away, but it's really not. Right. Uh, we're going to continue to help people understand how important our local businesses are. It's it's part of a recovery strategy to say, um, you know, we have a great state. Let's support each other. Put your money where your heart is right here in Massachusetts. And, and it's going to really make a difference for, for our recovery. Yeah. So with that campaign, that's going to continue. The, the, the focus on restaurants will go through September. And uh, the photo contest goes through the end of August. Uh, we're going to continue to just push the message that our small businesses matter. We can make a difference. And, and so we'll continue to see as things evolve with, with uh, the summer where we go next. Yeah. Well, you know, th this, is, this is terrific. And I, and I know also that um, your office uh, gets funding from um, from the legislature uh, on a yearly basis. And um, what do you do with some of that money? And, and I'm, what I'm really trying to talk about is uh, I know there's a C. Plymouth is going to be having some, um, uh, some advertising throughout the Commonwealth with billboards. What other things do you use that money for when you give it out to these RTCs? So we are funded at a rate of $10 million um, from the legislature, typically that's that's what we're allotted, and and six million of that is distributed across the state to our regional tourism council partners. They each market their portion of the Commonwealth, and then the four million would be the overall state marketing budget. Marketing means uh, the the billboards, the uh, the TV advertising, the um, the digital advertising, uh, social media, those types of things are what our marketing dollars are, are used for. And, um, and I, I agree 100% that, you know, more local people will be coming, you know, to places like Plymouth. What's on the horizon maybe for international? Are we still two or three years away from maybe international travel, do you think? 
it is going to be a slower recovery in, on the international front, but our main focus is Canada, the UK, and Germany for our, our international markets as a state. Uh, we are seeing we're seeing positive signs, and uh, I again, it's the it's the pent up demand that I think we're gonna we're gonna reap the benefits of because we are uh, in, in close proximity, at least to, to Canada, and and the UK is is a strong 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 partner of of Massachusetts. So we we're hopeful it may take a little take a little longer, but um, working with our partners, Discover New England and Brand USA, we think that we will definitely be seeing our international visitors return. Yeah, that, that's, that's terrific news. And, um, you know, the, the Commonwealth is such a, a beautiful place. I mean, we have coastlines, uh, we have great uh, uh, different exhibits and, and museums and all sorts of things. We have so much to offer. And it's so great to hear that uh, you, as the director of MOT, um, the governor, lieutenant governor, uh, the secretary have all realized the the need to you know to really market Massachusetts for us, and we really thank you for what you're doing. I really appreciate you joining us here today, and I look forward to seeing you in real life at some time soon because I do miss you. So thank you again for for joining us today and for all you are doing. Thank you, Representative. Do you mind if I just I just want to make sure that people get those key takeaways. Don't forget, uh, thank you so much for being, uh, for, for inviting the Mass Office of Travel and Tourism to participate and uh, for your, your interest in, in travel and tourism and your advocacy for the industry. Yeah. I, I hope that folks will um, take, take our takeaways to heart and that they will, um, that they'll act upon some of those things to help the industry and to join the My Local MA movement. Really appreciate Th being here. Thank you, and I love the takeaways. Absolutely. Great presentation. Thank you so much, Keiko. On our next show, we'll be discussing arts and culture with the new executive director of the Mass Cultural Council, Michael Bobbitt. So I want to thank Donna and the entire staff here at PAC TV for another great show and for all of you at home watching. Thanks again. We'll see you next time on State Matters.